All right, everybody, I am live, I am live. Don't I say that every time? Okay, so I can't figure out the computer. And I said I was going live now, so I'm live now. I don't know how to put this, okay. So I'm on my phone for right now while I mess with the computer. Oh, hello, Kentucky Cat Man. How are you doing? Now, if y'all hear echo, it's because my house has no furniture in it. <laughs> I am furnitureless right now. I just went and ordered. Hey, Rocky. Hello, Maurice. Hello, Catfish Bill, Mr. Bill, Mr. Kentucky Cat Man. How are y'all doing? I've missed everybody. Um, I come home, I think I'll watch maybe, hello, Mr. Flip. Long time no see. I tried to watch your video the other day, but I fell asleep, dude. I'm sorry. I'm trying to catch up on videos, y'all. I swear to God, I'm watching them when I come home. And, um, this is the worst chair I've ever sat in in my life. Hey, Tim, how are you? 13 on. Oh, y'all are making me so happy. Hello, Mike. Oh, yeah, man. Let me tell you, working five days a week, trying to get this house together. Hello, Oki Outdoors. How are you doing? From Oklahoma, Abby. But, um, been trying to get the house done. My husband had to go out of town for a week, so, you know, I was left ordering the furniture. Ordered it yesterday. We're going to do a little, a little, um, update tour video when we get done um hey mike oh let's see hello carlos how are you albuquerque new mexico cool um i'm sorry y'all y'all gotta be patient with me i couldn't figure out the computer how to go live so i'm gonna have to figure that out what's up shout out from albuquerque okay What's going on, hog hunters? Hot's fishing. So, um, what's been going on? I kind of been missing out on the fishing videos here lately. I'm trying to get everything done. I'm so exhausted when I get home. Seriously, y'all, when, um, I just, <laughs> I kind of watch a couple of videos and, um, I'm pretty much out for the count. My eyeballs, you can see y'all are just beat red. <laughs> I look like a hammered hell. So, uh, what's new with y'all? Anybody caught any good ones lately? Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill. It looked like death before. My house was built in the 40s. And a lot of my house still has the original plumbing original electricity electrical it all has everything original hi cassie you can count a potato <laughs> cassie is my daughter y'all so um <laughs> in the hole you fell through hey buffy how are you y'all have been killing the fishing lately you and your hubby do. Alejandro, how are you? Peeling, uh, I'm sorry, peeling drag, oh, of course. Peeling drag catfishing, how are you? Um, why what, Bill? Because you, oh, WNY, never mind. The fish are finally starting to hit, and the, y'all, if y'all know, um, I'm having a little DT fishing here. No, kind of, I know, man. I feel so bad for y'all freaking in the snow. How for y'all are in the snow? Buffy don't care. She'll go fishing anywhere. Hey, Marvin, how are you? Um, Buffy and uh, her, her husband, they don't care. It's a blizzard. They're going fishing. So, uh, yeah, they catch some big old steelhead. Look at her pictures, y'all. That's ridiculous. If y'all don't know Buffy, WNY Fisher Girl, man, you should go to her channel. They catch the biggest freaking browns and steelheads off the chain. They don't care. Snow, rain, sleet, and hell. 
don't give two snaps. They're they're fishing in it. Um, she has the biggest balls for the littlest person I've ever seen. Fifty six. You bet, girl. Buffy is one to watch, y'all. She, she uh, they catch some. Yeah, she does kill it up there. New York, man. Y'all give a shout out to New York. 41. Can I just tell y'all, and I hate to do this to y'all, but look, I'm going to show y'all something. <laughs> I think my door is locked. Um, I do believe it's 80. Uh, let me look. It's 80. Oh, yeah. Sorry, y'all. It's 82. <laughs> Tim's like, don't say it. 86. See? Come on, warm weather. Dude, you'll get it soon enough, and then it will be crying for winter time. Yeah, I'm kind of rubbing it in, Buffy, but gosh dang it. <laughs> Sorry, Bill. Um, gosh dang it. I don't see how y'all live anything north of Dallas is frozen. I, I, don't, I don't know how y'all do it. I think Oklahoma is about a, what we are, but that's about it. Um, is that light bothering y'all, my ceiling fan? That's about to go away, too. I got new ceiling fans. That thing's ugly. Hey, you are, man, I don't know. Have you been to the creek? Were you at the creek? And if you were, let me know how you did, fishing-wise. Um... Carhartt jackets. <laughs> uh, Spring Creek. Did you were you at Spring Creek? You gotta come up here sometime for the steel. Oh man, I would love. Oh my god, I would love to catch one of them big old honking things. Y'all just reel them in like they ain't nothing. I would be crapping my pants. Anybody else catch any? No, probably with my younger brother. Oh. Okay, I, I don't know who your younger brother is, but, um, man, you know what? We were, we're talking about all meeting up in North Carolina sometime, um, this, this summer, I think, um, oh my God, I lost my brain, uh, Sarah, and <laughs> another fishing guy. Uh, Sarah from Yakin with Sarah, Anthony Horton, um, I saw that, Bill, that was cool. Hey, Whisker Time, what is going on? I saw your video with you in the truck, um, but we're supposed to be going to North Carolina for a meetup. I know Sarah's sometime in this summer is coming here to, um, Thanks for all the likes, y'all. Y'all are awesome. Um, Sarah's coming here to Texas for something. We're going to meet up. We're going to go fishing. And then um, I'm going to North Carolina sometime at the end of summer and meet up with Anthony Horton and a bunch of people from up there. Maybe um, grab life by the fish. That would be so cool. Um, and a bunch of other people are going to meet up there. Or get as close, um, where in North Carolina? That's a good question, because we may have to get you over there. I'm new sub, you may, um, sorry, hold on, let me, I feel like I have a sub for years, been on, oh, well, thank you, Oki Catfish, I mean, Oki Outdoors, that's so cool. Jessa said hi, non all, aw, Jessa's my granddaughter. Um, you know what? Well, we were going to ask him. I mean, you know, Dieter's a busy guy, but we're going to try to get him. We're going to try to get as many people as, that's available to go. If y'all want to go, shh, open invitation. The closer we get to that part of the summer. I'm sorry, y'all, my Cherokee's rolling. Um, the closer we get to that part of the summer and i really should wait till sarah gets on here she said stay on for about 20 minutes and she'll get on but um i think she has a closer date than i have and when she gets on let me know when i'll live near winston -San. okay cool yeah we're gonna kind of blast it out there 
I've never been to North Carolina, y'all. I'm like, this is this is my time to travel. Like, I've been to Oklahoma to fish with Oki, uh, catfishing at Kevin Davis, and um, of course, I went to the catfish conference. That was freaking awesome. But we were gonna have a YouTube bass tournament, so we're all gonna hook up and do just like a collaborative. Everybody gets together and goes bass fishing, calf fishing, whatever. We don't care. Um, I'm not pro or con either one. I know some of you are diehards, but um, we're gonna, we're gonna. I'm hoping Sarah get home here pretty quick, y'all. I've got to readjust my camera. Um, I'm hoping Sarah will get home here pretty quick and she can kind of hold on, y'all. She can kind of fill y'all in on um where i know wouldn't that be fun just i don't care what kind of fishing we do i'd love to just get tons of youtubers and we were supposed to do that mr old clunker how are you career resort uh, north carolina virginia line great fishing okay that's a good one hey danny how are you doing probably somewhere on the ohio river maybe the great oh my god miami river where here in Ohio, yeah, where, you know, any, any, any place, I, I'm not quite sure where they were gonna set it up, I'm good, I'm good, dude, um, I'm just giving kind of an update, I haven't been fishing, y'all know I'm like Jones and to go fishing, <laughs> so, I was hoping Chris and Dieter would jump on here, but I think, uh, Dieter is headed towards the, uh, Daytona, 500 I think this weekend I'm not sure what's what race is this weekend but y'all know he's a cameraman for the for NASCAR so he's the lucky dog that gets to watch everybody go left for hours at a time I have been to Oklahoma and um I went with uh Oki Catfishing we met up and Mark from Bill of Rights, that was awesome. Doc, his brother, um, he, uh, we all met up with them. Uh, yes, I finally went Saturday night a few hours, but still no luck. And sorry about my finger in the way. Well, still flood. Oh, you're still flooded. Oh, that sucks. Six six, awesome. Okay. So, um, I know. So, we were all gonna, you know, try to get together and just do, like, a big O Leland's treasure chest. Well, hello, Leland. I'm not quite sure I know you. <laughs> I'm sorry if I don't recognize y'all's names, but y'all are cool um, to jump in on my live feed. But anyway, um, we were gonna try to get, like, a little bass fishing tournament going on in my... Oh, you're at, oh, okay, yeah, I know, I saw Dewey live, and I should have stopped in before I went live, but, um, I'm an early bird when it comes to going to bed, especially after the day I had today, but, um, I'm gonna hang on here, Sarah should be on here in a little bit, and I want to give y'all more information about the North Carolina Gastonia, North Carolina. Boyce Curtis. Okay, well, let's see. I'm going to write that down, Gastonia, and see how close it is to where we're going to be. Maybe you can join us. Um, I'll bring it up to Sarah because I don't have, I have no clue about North Carolina and what's in there. I'll be on. Oh, I know. I know, Tim. I saw that. That's so cool. It, you know what? It's going good. Um, I ordered all my furniture. Hey Craig, um, I ordered all my furniture yesterday. I have um, the bed ordered. I have all the living room furniture ordered, the rug, the everything. Got the ceiling fans in the other room waiting to be hung. Um, that ugly thing's going away. It's a hunter, but it's still ugly. And that's going bye-bye. So, um, yeah, it's coming along. It's coming along. We're doing little bits and pieces. This is, um, my husband had to go out of town this week, so, uh, I'm just snapping it together. 
You got to move that to bus. It's extreme home makeover. Oh, yeah. No, sh I know. Um, the outside needs some work. But like I said, everything on the house is original. Um, so, <laughs> we have a lot of work to do. Uh, 40s. It, I think it was built in 1942. So, the house is older than dirt. And so am I. Yes, I'm in Texas. Mm-hmm. So, do y'all have any events going on somewhere local that I can go to here in the next few weeks? Anything? Any events happening? No? I don't know if y'all watch Sarah's, um, I didn't even, I haven't even got to watch all of the, um, Bass Classic, where she was releasing new items on my Teespring store. Yes, I know, oh, excuse me, and I'm, when, when I'm done spending every dime I've ever made for all this house, I will be more than happy to go over to some of your stuff, Tim. Uh, yeah, I know, and I haven't got to watch that today either. I just wanted to get on real quick and go live and see how everybody was doing. I miss, man, making YouTube videos. But, you know, life comes first, work comes second, and then I guess YouTube comes third. Slick Rick? What's up, Slick Rick? Not much. Just talking about the home remodel we're doing. Um, talking about some events that are going to go down later on this summer. Um, I think there's something going on in Dallas that I may attend. Um, if it's feasible for me to do so. Um, I'll have to see. I'll have to get with some folks and see what's up with that. Um... Bill, did, have you heard anything about the Dallas meetup that, uh, I think it's on the tournament. You have a bull tournament, bullhead tournament? Well, shoot, I wish I could join it, because, man, that's all I ever catch over here is a bunch of darn bullheads. I don't know how big yours get, but ours are, ours are, uh, maybe almost a pound. They're pretty dang big for a boy, <laughs> but I haven't seen, um, any, I, I don't know how big they are. I mean, what is the record bullhead, y'all? Anybody know that one? Is that something we can Google? Such a massive rainstorm and flooding. Mm, of course. Hey, Mikey. Mike Chavez in the house. How you doing, man? I hope you're not stuck at work. Hey, Elite Bass. What's going on? How are you? Hey, Bill. Um... Have you heard anything else about the Dallas meetup? Ours are pretty big for a bullhead. I've been at Dewey's channel. He's alive too. <laughs> I know. I saw that, but not. And I thought twice about going and getting on, on his and just waiting for mine. But I had already posted it on Facebook. Oh, Catfish Weekly. Hello. How are y'all doing? You haven't heard anything? Okay. Well, supposedly there's going to be something going on this sometime this summer. Um, pound, pound, and a half. See, y'all's are bigger than ours then. Uh, a Dallas meetup and then the North Carolina meetup and, you know, and then Sarah's supposed to be coming here to Texas. Seven pounds for a bullhead? I couldn't even imagine. The fight on those must be amazing because them little bitty boogers I catch, <laughs> I don't know, probably almost a pound. They give up one heck of a fight. You can hear both live streams. 
Um, I've never done a live stream on my laptop, but apparently there's a bunch of stuff. Hey, Kirby, how are you doing, man? Um, apparently there's some stuff you have to download. Let me try to get this thing to stay still. Daggum. Um. That's what I'm talking about. I couldn't even imagine a, a seven pound bullhead. Y'all was going to get on my dang nerves here with this. There it goes. There you go. Okay. Kirby, I think everybody's doing pretty stinking good. Florida State record is seven pounds, 225 inch. Dang. I, I couldn't even imagine because the bullheads, like I said, maybe almost a pound. Them suckers bite like nobody's business. I mean, when they hit, you know you got a bullhead. But I caught a five-pounder. You got a five-pound. Hey, the white life, what's up? How are you? Y'all say, hey, the white's life. March 11, 20. Oh, okay. Pound for pound, hardest bite force on a catfish. I, I'm, I agree. Tim, I agree 100% because them suckers, when they hit, you know it. Uh, they could pull uh, the flathead right out of my hand and almost did. <laughs> Pitbull catfish. That's right, man. Are y'all getting a bad echo? I know my house is empty, so that's why it's echo. <clears throat> that's why it's echoing so bad. Oh, you only have channel cats. Well, sister girl, I know you have family here in Texas, so you need to come and meet up with us. You and uh, Eric, I think is his. No, not Eric. Jesus Christ. Wes. Sean. Jesus. Sean, you and Sean need to come to Texas and get on some of these big old blues. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> Sean. Uh, his last name is Wes. So, um, yeah, y'all need to come hook up on some blues or get somewhere close to the Ohio River or the wherever, Tennessee, wherever you can get to, man, because, man, the blues. I would love to, um, I would love to hook up with Joe Jellison and have him take me out fishing. Blues and flatheads, you betcha, man. Joe can put you on some fish. Well, a lot of these guys can put you on fish on here. These guys ain't playing when it comes to their kitty cats, man. I'll get anyone on flatheads in my neck of town. What did you miss? You didn't miss a lot, Mike. Um, Talking about the house, talking about... um. You know, catching blues and flat... Well, actually, we were talking about bullheads. Oh, yeah, you and Dewey went fishing together. I bet y'all did. If nothing else, you had good company, right? You know what? I, you know, when I, when I have trouble catching catfish... Um, I tend to just turn to bass because bass, the bass, where I bass fish, it's a private pond and it's not fish hardly ever. So I go to, to bass fish there and it's almost guaranteed you're going to catch bass. New PB for your, well, I'll check it out, man. I'll, before I go to bed, I'll watch it. She's seen. Oh, okay. I did see him then. Okay. Hey, country girl. You asked about events. Can come to Indiana and build a pool deck so I can go get some. <laughs> well, oh, Sarah. There she is. Okay, Sarah's on, y'all. So, Sarah, we were talking about um when we were on your live feed. Anthony and you and I were talking about getting YouTubers together in North Carolina. Now, do you have um, any information on how close or where we were going to meet? Sorry, I'm going to scroll back. How cold is your water right now, Buffy? 
I bet it's I bet it's still like burr. Hey Jewish redneck prepper, how are you? Oh, you have to ask Anthony. Okay, well that's cool because we we're just trying to see if other people would be interested. We're having a get together in Virginia Beach in May, I think. Okay. Oh, 34 degrees. Oh, y'all, I don't see how y'all do that for real. <laughs> that is some serious. That's some serious weather I can't deal with. I ain't trying to freeze my toes off. Y'all, I thought that ice that we had here for a whole day. Your whole body should hurt from the cold, girl. <laughs> it's just, your, your little bitty self will be frozen little popsicle out there fishing. Are you near the Hudson River? Why? And, oh. W, I keep thinking that you're saying why, but it's WNY. And if y'all don't, if y'all don't know her channel, y'all go check out her channel. Her, oh my God, her and Sean catch some still heads like you would not believe. And, and Browns, what's your big, what's your PB, Buffy? Nice hearing you're doing good. Gotta head back to work. Good luck. Okay, thank you for coming in. Lake Ontario, Lake Erie. Hello, missing all the comments. Okay, I didn't know. I subscribed to her yesterday. Oh, you did good. 35 inches. Holy cow, do you weigh him? Do you have a weight? Oh my god. Hey, Chris, how are you from California? Right on, dude. I'm a Cali girl. I was born in Long Beach. Lived in San Diego. Coronado. I was a Navy brat, so we lived all over the place. Good to hear another California. Oh, you didn't have a scale? That's a bummer. I would love to know what one of those fish you catch weighs. Sarah, are you still on here? I want to know. Oh, are you in um, Bakersfield? I have 15 entries this week for my Catch of the Week segment. I have to start turning people down. Oh, that's cool. Um, what was I going to ask you? Y'all, I'm old. I can't remember shit. I can't remember nothing. Are you, are you just outside of Bakersfield? Y'all, you didn't think I know where he was from, did you? I'm a Buck Owens freak and a half. Roy Clark, Buck Owens. Anybody old school country? Except for Willie. I'm not a Willie fan. Probably going to get shot for that, but that's all right. So does anybody have anything coming up on their channel they want to? Well, that's a heck of a name. Hey, Bill, how you feeling, dude? Man, and if y'all didn't know, Bill's birthday was yesterday. Oh, girl, you know I ain't building no ride right now because um, I'm doing my house. Oh, you're back at work? Good, good. That's good to hear. Ninja! My husband told me never do that again. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to do it now just, just to make you embarrassed. Yeah, Bill's birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday, Bill. He's been down and out with one illness after another, poor guy. And, um, <laughs> and the poor guy's going to be um, sick till next, next year if he don't watch it. But he says he's feeling better and he's back to work. So that's good. Hey, Ninja, you got anything going on on your channel? Does anybody have any announcements? 
Oh, Sarah, I know what I was going to ask you now. Um, the Bassmaster Classic, how was that? I haven't got to watch your videos yet. 900 subscribers, yay! Man, doesn't it feel good to get that next 100? Unbelievable, one after another, just... And it seems like... Oh, I bet it was fun. I'm going to watch your videos tonight, man. I know you did some lives. Going to put a... Oh, you're going to put your video up. I, oh, my God. Man, if y'all don't know... If y'all don't watch Sarah's channel, this girl went to the Bassmaster Classic, and she ran into D Almighty. And that was... That alone was amazing. Yeah, we, yeah, I saw that price change, you know. Hey, Badger Farm Girl, how are you? Welcome to the live feed. 300 subs today. Congratulations, Wyatt. Oh, 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 bloop, bloop, bloop. Hold on. What's up, love the sunny, super sticky vid? Oh, G4, hey, thank you so much. That's my top viewed video is the sunny's dip bait sure was that was my that was my top viewed video and still is so who else did you meet sarah you met d almighty and that's about all i got to see of that one i couldn't believe that All right, Bill, you take care, man. Oh, that's right, Zofinger. I saw that part, too, you lucky duck, you. Unbelievable. Jigging with Jordan. I don't, I don't know him or her or whoever. I don't know that person. But I'm going to check it out. Oh, you met Fluke? Ugh. Girl, please. On and on and on. The list goes on. Sarah was a lucky girl, man. She got to do some pretty cool live feeds from that Bassmaster Classic. I know y'all are saying ditch pickle. Blah, 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 blah. Fishing with Big D. How are you? Rocky Hinojosa. Jigging with Jordan is a cool guy. Okay, great. I'm going to go check out his channel. Thanks for the heads up. Let me write that down too because I'm... Sarah, how close to you are gas to you to Gastonia? I think we had this discussion with Anthony. Jigging with Jordan, right? Stopping in to say hi. That's eating lunch. How are you doing, sir? Taste test. A manufactured bait taste test challenge. Oh boy, you gotta have some good guts for that. And I'm not a hundred percent sure my guts are that good. If you're feeling brave and weird, that's what happens when you don't get to fish. <laughs> One and a half hours from Gastonia. All right, so y'all know now Gastonia. Ooh, I, you know, I can deal with a lot of stuff. The only thing I can't deal with, working in a hospital, ICU, I've seen it all. The only thing I can't deal with is suction. Suction is gross. Whether it be saliva or any other suction. That just the sound of that... <laughs> It throws me over the edge. Brr. I can hear all your ribs cracking as we're doing CPR. But I cannot listen to suction. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, um, Tim said, eating lunch, Tim said... Who's up for a manufactured bait taste test? And we were talking about how weak all of our stomachs are. 
Oh, you got a turtle. Dang. I hate catching turtles, though, y'all, because we have snapping turtles. Um, so I think somebody is close to Gastonia or lives in Gastonia, and I was telling them about the YouTube um, fishing tournament Anthony Horton and you and I were talking about. And so somebody said, I'm close to Gastonia or something. I was just asking to see how close you were to it. Hey, if anybody want to give me directions on how to do a live feed on YouTube on my computer, that would be amazing. Doing it at FFN. Yeah, I, everybody, look, you know what? I don't have a stomach lining for a lemon challenge. I mean, I'm down for the cause and everything, but... uh. I don't know about y'all ate the peel, the white part. Y'all ate everything. Oh, they did. They did a lemon challenge. Dewey's a brave soul, man. <laughs> exactly. Oof. Like I, I can. I, my stomach isn't really weak, but you know, I have um. I have um, esophageal erosion from excessive GERD, so lemons are not my friend, and I will pay the cost for that, for doing that lemon challenge. I mean, it is a good cause. I'll donate money to that, but I'm telling you, lemons for leukemia. Yeah, see, I can't do that. I have Clarence. How do you say your last name? I'm gonna call you Clarence because I I'm I don't want to butcher anybody's name. How are you, Clarence? Or there was a ribeye challenge. Shoot, ribeye challenge! You don't even have to cook it. I'll eat that. Bye, Marvin. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate you stopping by. Um, ribeye challenge, I'm down, dude. I will eat that. You just got to <laughs> see. Everybody's down for a ribeye challenge. Bacon for the big boys in the bucket. <laughs> hey, I've been known to eat a couple of pounds of bacon myself. I always earn my wife that I'm going to enter a chicken wing competition and then win. <laughs> Candy is my thing. Girl, I can't believe you eat all that. Who are you asking if, if they hunt? Me or somebody else? You are. Oh, oh me? Yeah, I do. We, we go deer hunting, hog hunting, stuff like that. A gallon, <laughs> a gallon of chocolate milk in under two minutes. More power to you, bro, because I can't. I'm in Houston. Ish. I'm outside of Houston. Yeah, we can have chocolate milk and ribeyes, y'all. If y'all want to do that, I'm down for chocolate milk and ribeyes. Um, mom, uh, we have some property up, um, about halfway up to Dallas, close to Centerville, and, um, we go up there when we, when we hunt. We didn't hunt this past few years. Um, oop, tight lines, somebody heard the dinner bell. <laughs> See you later, Big D. Um, I've, hey, you know what? I've been to Justin, Texas, because I used to live in the HEB area up there, uh, Euless, Bedford, and, um, uh, Euless, Bedford, and Hearst. 
Oh, you're oh, Sarah's going to have a giveaway, y'all. <clears throat> if y'all don't know Sarah, if y'all don't know anybody on this on this live feed, y'all need to go and say hi and check out their channel. They have some great channels. Um, I enjoy every one of them. I may not get to watch everybody's uh, videos all the time. But, you know, I do try to, I, I try to watch what I can. You're going to give it away Sunday Night Live? Girl, I can't hardly stay away from the live feeds. I'm such an old person, I swear. I had to move back to West Virginia. Oh, really? That's, that sucks. I guess if you wanted to, it was all right. Um... Somerville, my husband threatened to take me there one time, but I've never actually made it to Somerville. Well, you should give it away, Mike. You got a bunch of ditch pickle catchers you that would love to have it. I recently won a um, giveaway on Sin Texas channel um i haven't received it yet but he's you know he's <laughs> he would uh yeah yeah that's funny mike um but i'll show y'all what what it is and i i, I don't want to resort to having to do uh live feeds all the time i will eventually go back fishing but But I haven't got a chance to go out there. I even have a pole in my truck, and y'all, I'm so dang tired. I can't stand myself. I'm on 42 minutes. Hi, Christina Eubanks. How are you doing? Thank you for liking my videos. I appreciate you. Christina, if you don't know any of the other folks on here, they have some pretty good channels if you like to watch fishing. We have some bass fishermen. We have some and women. And we have a uh, cat fishermen and women in here, and we have some people in New York that catch killer st <laughs> steelheads and browns and all that good stuff. Just we have a great variety of people in here. If you'd like to go check out some of their channels, all right. How's everybody doing? We've been on 42 minutes and I'm dwindling down. I got 15 on. Yep. You know, introduce yourself. Tell them where you came from. Tiffany sent you from Country Girl Catfishing. Yep. Everybody has a great channel, man. I enjoy watching everybody. Ah, oh, thanks, Bill. Um... I enjoy watching everybody, uh, everybody's fishing. I don't care what y'all fish for. I don't care if you fish for minnows. I love watching everybody's channel. Um, and some of us stray from what our channel name is, me. And, but, you know, I, I enjoy all kinds of fishing. Looking up one it's a green fish that looks like a pickle and mostly <laughs> fly fishing ninja fishes for minnows. Does he? I was kind of... <laughs> yeah, Tiff does. Um, Y'all are crazy. She does have a great channel. I mean, she Sarah has a really good channel. I mean, if y'all don't... Do nothing now. Y'all need to subscribe to all the women, fisher, fisher women on YouTube. Because Heather, Grab Life to Buy the Fish, she has an awesome channel. Um, Y'all help me. There's tons of them. Old Lady Fishing. Uh, what is that? Old Lady something? Old Lady Angler, I think it's called. She has a great, <laughs> she has a great channel. A lady angler. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Okay, yeah. She's pretty cool. They all over after Harvey. 
Yeah, shoot, Harvey was a killer. Yeah, old lady angler. She, I love her channel, and she don't know me from the man on the moon, but <laughs> I just go and watch her videos. She's pretty cool. Uh oh, uh oh, did Ninja, did Ninja <laughs> get out bass? Oh, yeah, exactly. Dar Sizzle and um, Bass Fanatic 432, I think is her name. She has a great channel. She catches some pretty killers. She does a lot of um, Mystery Tackle Box slams. But you know what? Y'all look in here. I'm going to show you all something. We're not needing it. Hold on, I'll be right back. Well, shoot, I don't know what I did with it. Um, I turned my mystery tackle box into a Bass Pro box mystery tackle box because, and let me tell you why. If any of y'all get mystery tag box, who is? Um, if any, any of y'all get mystery tag box or any of the tackle boxes, um, I started getting mystery tackle box, the catfish version. And at first it was all cool. Oh, right. Cam, you know, I watched Pamela. She's up from Galveston or something like that. Um, You stop getting them. You have LTB. Well, I started getting uh, the same old thing over and over and over in the catfish version. Like, they weren't coming out with anything. <coughs> they weren't coming out with anything revolutionary. I mean, same old hook, same old stink bait. I mean... I've kind of steered away from stink bait now, but I mean, I still use it, don't get me wrong. But um, I kind of steered away from all that and just went with live bait. It seems to be more effective. There's not much, you know, there's nothing new out there. They're good for ditch pickle fishing. <laughs> You're such a goof troop, Mike. Um, <laughs> I know, and you know what, you are, I, I need to get one too, but you know, at the Spring Creek, they rent them. But anyway, I, I got into Mystery and Tackle Box Bass Pro, and then, um, I like it. I like it. You get different lures, you get different, you know, hooks, but it's not the same thing over and over and over. They keep sending me the same bait in the catfish box, and I couldn't deal with it. So, Sarah, tell everybody what time your live feed is Sunday night. So we can all join up and join in if I'm still awake. Y'all, I'm the world's worst, I swear. But I get up at 3 o'clock in the morning... Eight thirty and nine. That's when you're going. Oh, between eight thirty and nine. Okay, so if y'all like a good live feed, gonna be inducing some cool things for bank catfishmen. Let's face it. There's more to feet on the bank than in boats, mostly. Most of the time, so why hasn't uh, anyone targeted this market? I don't know. We should all target this market, y'all. Yep, you'll kill it. You'll kill it on the market with your stuff because um, I know a lot of the, the catfishermen... Uh, I know a lot of the cat fishermen. Sorry, I'll get distracted. Um, night fish. Well, that's the best fishing, apparently. So, um, 
they, they, um, fish at night. So Whisker Sticks, if y'all don't know, has LED lights that you put on your pole so you can see your bite happening. And, uh, they're extremely popular. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, he sold out at the Catfish Conference. Was that right, Tim? He just came out with some new colors. I knew that was going to happen. Um, he did have to go up on price, but hey, you know what? The cost of living is the cost of living, and uh, sometimes people have to go up on their products. But everybody that uses products so far... Uh, Oki Catfish and I know, yeah, so see, he sold out, so everybody's really digging his, um, I went fishing two days ago, I forgot my lure bag, so I, so one fishing pole, one lure, one hour, two bass, it ain't bad for ditching, for ditch fishing. Hey, any, any day fishing's a good day fishing, man, I'm telling you that now. So, um, anyway, so if you don't know what the the LED whisker sticks are, y'all go check out his channel. Go check out his, his page. Um, like I said, he did have to go up in price, but you know what? Sometimes you just got to do it. They're still reasonable price. I mean, if, if you bought one or two, it ain't no big deal. Yeah, I, you know, I love the shirts too, and until I just dumped tons of money in my house <laughs> you know all the little stuff is gonna have to wait just for a little while it's all it's all good they're gonna be there when i go to get one so don't forget um sarah's channel uh sunday night she's gonna start featuring um fish of the week um i think she's taken uh what 12 to 15 already um fish and uh showcasing them on her her live feed which is pretty cool and um so if y'all have anything y'all y'all check out her channel she left the link down in her description box where to send the pictures to and um if you catch a whopper if you don't catch a whopper she don't care what kind of fish you catch just go uh send her pictures over there and um And, uh, she, uh, is gonna start showcasing people. She put my son's biggest bass on last week. Yeah. This week is full, but I'm starting to fill next week. So, send them. Yeah, send them up, y'all. So, uh, 15, right, Sarah? Is that all you're taking per episode? You better send yours in, Mikey, because you're already out this week. You need <laughs> trying not to be seen patching my waders right now. Uh oh. Oh no. See, I can't be doing all that ice cold, ice cold fishing. Y'all, this girl Buffy, man, she is zero fear of cold. Puts it around three minutes. It's just photos. Okay, that, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Can they send you video clips too or just pictures? Are you okay with short clips? Just pics for now. Okay, so y'all just send pictures. So that that's cool. I mean, still, you get featured on a pretty good channel, so. Um, there's a lot of people that watch Sarah, so your, your, your channel will get out there. You will get out there. All right, we're going on 54 minutes. Yes, it is. You know what? I told uh, Catfish, Week, uh, Catfish Weekly that me and Sarah were going to show the boys how to how to do that bass fish and he said watch what you wish for so any sponsors out there you'd like to give up a sponsorship me and Sarah are gonna pair up and do some 
<laughs> do some bass tournaments. Oh, yeah, Whisker Sticks is going to give us a sponsorship. He's going to pass us two lights. You're going to send a dollar? Hey, it works for me. Every dollar is one more dollar I didn't have before. We need a team name. Oh, freaking frack. Nut nuttier. <laughs> I don't know why to figure it out. <laughs> Depends on who our main sponsor is. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm going to think about that name, though. Oh, challenge. Sarah, you see that? Tim's getting all cocky now. He wants Frank and Frank Neely and him to go against me and you catfishing. <laughs> yep. And then I'm going to go to New York and start fishing with Buffy, too. <laughs> My gosh. Can you catch fish that big after the, the ice thaws, Buffy? That's it here, kitty, kitty. Hey, man, I'm down for any challenge. Anybody in my area? I know Huard is in my area-ish. Bring wool socks. Shoot, a wool. You better bring a wool bodysuit is what you better bring up there. I need to open it for all cats. I'm game. Hey, whatever. It's on. That's it. It's on. No fall and winter. Oh, okay. So they migrate up there, I guess. Spawn and then haul all but back to the warm water because they can only take that much of it. All cats. Okay. Just not calicos. Yeah. We don't do kitty cats. <laughs> My poor old cat. I do have a cat, but she won't come inside anymore. She stays outside. I think she's swirling down the kitty drain. She's over 17 years old. They go back to the lake where it's colder. Where it's colder? Hmm. What did Ninja say, Bill? Let me go back. He probably said some smarty pants stuff. You're gonna have. <laughs> you're gonna have to ride him. Rat him out, Bill. What did uh, Ninja say? Sorry, y'all. This freaking chair is terrible. He's the catch of the week. <laughs> oh, Ninja. I don't know if any of y'all watch David Funk's channel. But he's pretty funny, too. Me and Frank will bank the fish in Great Miami River. You guys pick up a local spot and let's see who gets the two poles. Two poles per person? Well, I'm bringing my muddy river ride. I don't know what you're bringing. Make up the rules and rewards. I don't have a ponytail to cut off. Ooh, where is Dieter when you need him? Or a mustache, right? So did what did they ever do the challenge? That's right. I'm bringing the sexy beast. Y'all know my I named my fishing rod and that caused nine kinds of crazy on my channel. You're working a lot. Well, sir, you you know, work comes first, you know, it just gets in our fishing gets in the way of our fishing. They haven't done the challenge yet. <laughs> Mike, I would never ask somebody to lose. Me and Frank have flathead rods. Let's all show off. Yeah, but y'all haven't named yours. I've already named mine. My husband named his the Erector. Let's see how, how demonetized this gets. Yeah. Crazy does run in our blood, don't it? Yeah, I saw Flex Caliber. That was funny. <laughs> My husband. 
he saw the comments and people were leaving them. <laughs> hey, Annabelle. Oh, my little girl. My sweetie, Petiti. Bless her heart. I look, man, Sarah's kid is awesome. She is just too much. She's just cute as pie. Don't know me from Adam, but I'm like, come here and see me. She just walks up there. Okay. <laughs> She's so cute. Miss Annabelle. Anybody, anybody else name their rods? I don't know. I always have, man. You're welcome. That kid is too cute. Y'all need to name them. You can't use the sexy beast and you can't use the erector. Anything else you're on. You named your rod fish? <laughs> oh, what Kentucky cat, man. You retracted a message. What, is, what were you saying? The names of my other rods? Fred, George, you know. Dumb stuff like that. Common names. No, I named... Oh, you named the fish you catch. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> um, I think we all named something our truck. Mine's toothless for the flathead rod. Oh, that's a good one. All ten of mine look the same, so I couldn't... I wouldn't get confused. Mr. Stiffy. <laughs> Killer. Mr. Stiffy. My husband didn't think of that, but he thought of the erector. So he saw that and he was like, well, I'll just name mine. And he pulled that out of his butt and said, <laughs> and said, I'll name mine the erector. See how they like that? And I was like, oh my goodness. Larry Curly and Mo. That's a good one. My truck's name is Biscuit. Mine's the Brat. I'm sending you a sticker for his. <laughs> okay, cool. And uh, yeah, I named my truck the Brat. I was my husband calls me the Brat. King Cat Wrangler. Three ugly sticks, three stooges. There you go. Um, every truck I've ever had, I've named the brat because my husband thinks I'm a sport riding brat, and I am. <laughs> I am. I'm a. I'm a sport. He spoils me. He's a good dude. Thank you, who are you? Have a wonderful night, and thanks for coming. I appreciate you stopping by. I know I've been on here for an hour. Is there anybody getting bored yet? Well, then you need to talk to Sarah. She's my sticker maker. Tim B B C F Project. What? The Des. <laughs> The Des Amigos. Y'all getting bored? Nope. Get to more of my dirty dozen. There you go. <laughs> That's a good one. We can call one the good, the bad, and the ugly. Y'all can use that. It's not copyrighted. <laughs> Yeah. What is that old Western? Um, a mule for Sister Sarah? That's an old Clint Eastwood movie. Who came out with white mediums, Mike? B oh, BCF. Good, bad, and ugly. Those are my ugly sticks. One cut down, cut it, got smashed in the door. Man, I do that every freaking time. I 
It never fails. I lost my silver max rod. And uh, I lost my silver max rod and another brand new rod. Putting it in my truck because I, you know, people just take it out of the back of my truck. So I put it in my truck. Went to go shut the door and bloop every single time. Never fails. I break a rod every time. I ought to just buy the reels and buy some cheap rods to go on it. Two, two mules for Sister Sarah, 1978. Thank you very much. Where are you and Frank at? <clears throat> Did you hear that, Sarah? Two, two mules for Sister Sarah. Good movie. I still on while I was fishing a few weeks ago. Me and y'all, people just, people kill me. Um, we were just having a discussion at work about where we park in the parking lot. Well, we can't park up close because we save that for the family members and, you know, visitors, whatever. And um, in the back, <laughs> in the back of the parking lot, you know, we... We work, or I don't, but most people, most people, um, that come into work, work 12 or shifts, so they're coming in early in the morning, leaving, you know, after dark. So, you know, in the back of the parking lot, we call it, people suck, dude. People suck when they do that. Yeah, I know. I saw your whole story about that. But, um, we call it the rape zone, so, <laughs> the back of the parking lot, we call it the rape zone, because it's dark back there, you know, we don't want to park back there, so they started threatening us with tickets, write me a ticket, I was alright, told my truck, there was one, I was, there, you know, I, I don't even know, but you can't even leave trash in the back of your truck. Yeah, you got all your stuff stolen last year, Mike, and somebody else got home and found out something. So, uh, they... They stole them out of his garage, his shed or something, he had them back. Anyway, it sucked. People suck. Get a job, earn some money, buy your own damn stuff. Yeah, my husband was trying to call me. Sorry about that. I just deleted him. I'll get back to him. But, uh, I mean, seriously, you can't leave. I had a strap from one um, hook to another in the back of my truck. I think I paid a buck at Walmart for it. Seriously. And they took it. A strap. A $1 strap. But people don't know, man. I ain't try. I ain't trying to be um, all nice about it. If you steal something from me and I catch you, I don't care if it's a dollar or ten thousand dollars. It's gonna be your ass on the line. <laughs> I promise you that. I don't. I don't let that stuff go. We work too hard for what we. For what we get and what we earn and and you have the nerve to come in my house or come in my yard or whatever and and uh steal my stuff i dare you i dare you y'all think i ain't got a pistol you watch me <laughs> and i ain't scared to use it y'all ain't either i know y'all ain't half of y'all pack anyway and you should and that's another thing that's real. You know, I'll tell you the number one popular thing here in Texas to steal is uh, F-150s. And, of course, I drive a Ford F-150. It's a four-door, full-size truck. It's freaking ridiculous. And, uh... Oh, you do too, Bill? Yep. And that's the most popular truck to, um... To be stolen. Here, I'm sure it's. I don't care how old it is. They're still gonna steal it if they can. 
You did? Where did you find it, Sarah? Was it at your aunt's house? <laughs> like you thought? Hey, Anthony, welcome. No, you didn't miss this, man. I ain't leaving yet. Hey, Anthony, I wanted to ask you. Um, somebody was asking, I was talking earlier about meeting up in North Carolina and maybe doing a YouTube bass fishing tournament. Did you have an idea of where you wanted to do that? Because there's a, there's a couple of folks. Um, well, they want your Silverado too, Mike. There's a couple of folks that are inter interested in doing that. I know we haven't really talked much more about it. Having a YouTube bass fishing tournament. Uh, my husband said he couldn't go, but um, I'm going to go, so... Anywhere in North Carolina, y'all pick it. I mean, I don't know the area. Sarah can get with you, Anthony, and figure that out. I'd love to get Heather, and so it would be convenient for Heather, too, to join in. How fun would that be? All right, y'all. Um, river has more fish, but lakes have bigger lakes or tougher though. Hey, whatever, whatever you think is gonna work, and I don't. And y'all have the advantage because I don't know the primary bait, what they go for up there. I don't use a lot of different lures. Most of what I use. All right, Mike. Enjoy your dinner. Thanks for coming. And uh, y'all know your area. You know your fish better. So, I mean, you have the advantage of uh, the, your water source. Whatever you want to do, lake, river, I don't care. Good night, Mike. Thanks for coming. Oh, look at discounts for hotels. Okay, that's cool. My purse got a hidden pocket for a pistol. <laughs> you can get it, girl. Pill and drag. Night, Mike. Alright, y'all set it up and let me know. And uh, I'll have some paid time off accumulated. And I'll save it for that. I'm taking two weeks in June. And part of July. For my anniversary and birthday. But um, we'll go hit it up. I'd love to have a YouTube bass fishing tournament. That would be so fun. My birthday's in July, if you're asking me, Tim. Uh, July 9th. It would be fun. I mean, I would like to see. I, I mean, I'm I'm open. Sarah has pretty much. Hey, everyone, just want to stop by and be nosy. Well, come on, bottom dollar outdoors, you be nosy, man. Welcome. You're July twenty eighth. Cool. Anyone's got a July? Any cancers in the house? May 31st. My 14th granddaughter was born on May 31st, Tim. Yep, that's right. I have 14 grandkids. She's the 8th of July. Or the 8th of May. Scorpio. 8th of July. Oh, she's the day before my... I knew I had it. I knew that was my kindred kid. No, gotta go to work on the boat for Sandy trip next weekend. Oh, man. Everybody.
Freddy's going fishing. I'm so sad. I don't want to go. All right, y'all. We're looking at 75 minutes on here. So far. <laughs> and I'm down to 10 folks. Are y'all bored or you want to keep going? I'm down for whatever. Bill and Drag. Wow. 75. I know, Tim, because you're a talker. <laughs> Tim's the talker of the YouTube community. Me and him stayed on his live feed for 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning one night. Oh, it passes your time at work much faster. What do y'all do if y'all don't mind me asking? I know what Sarah does. Oh, Battle of the Channels. That'll be a good one. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I, I enjoyed talking to Dieter at the Catfish Conference. He was just so cool. Electrochemical machinist. Well, what the hell is that, Tim? You have to be more elaborate. Kentucky Catman, you're a nurse. Cool. I work in a in a hospital. I'm a construction worker, electrician. Buffy, you're a nurse. Do I be on live three weeks? Would be interesting. I'm a landscaper. Awesome. I need some of that in my life. I didn't know you're a nurse, Buffy. That's cool. Aerospace engine parts. Well, look at you. I'm a quality assurance tech for a forklift company. Make engines you flew to Kentucky with. Sweet. Chrysler Dodge chi Timing Chain Operator? What does that mean? Timing chain. I know what a timing chain is. What is the operator of it? You oversee them manufactured time and change maybe you never have any time off it sucks do you do 12s or 8s buffy hvac tech and i need some central air and heat up in here too i don't have that either bum, bum, bum. now we got more people so i'm gonna stay on as long as youtube lets me <laughs> a part-time gigolo. Awesome. Eight, unless they need me to stay. Oh, that's cool. Are you an LVN or you are in, Buffy? Yeah, I just saw that. If y'all want to go watch, it's not going to, um, it's not going to hurt my feelings. Northwoods is a pretty cool dude. LVN, cool. Timing can the timing chain kits for Chrysler and Dodge. That's awesome. We have a lot of cart industry guys here in the ladies. No, I do not have central air and heat. They didn't have it in the 40s. I do have indoor plumbing, so I'm not exactly in, in the concrete ponds. <laughs> okay, go say hi to Luke, Tim. Thanks for coming in, man. Could have done RN, but I had one semester left when I had my daughter. Oh, uh, yep. The kids come first, man. I'm telling you. But it won't be nothing to transition from LN, uh, LVN to RN. Isn't it like a two-year program? The 90s farmhouse, but it's worth it. Oh, you know what? I love this house. I know it was built in the 40s. I complain about it, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't need to be updated. We painted the ceilings. Like, they. I used to smoke three years ago when I smoked in the house, which was hideous. But, um, I'm gonna do, like, a, a photo, um, video, just different photos from the renovation and, um, the before, the during, and after. So, I mean, it won't be nothing worth a lot of people wanting to watch because, you know, you don't expect that on my channel, but 
14 people watching. Thank you so much, you guys. I got 24 likes. Y'all are awesome. Um, but anyway, I mean, you know, I love to, um, I did a makeup room. Uh, I collect makeup if y'all don't know that. Fun fact. Oh, you're getting your house ready to sell? Where are you moving to? I need somebody to come down here and go fishing with me. Any takers? I know, I know Sarah's coming. Buffy, you have family here, so you need to make a trip this summer. Hint, hint. Oh, you're moving to the country? Man, I wouldn't have it any other way. We live on two acres here, but, um... <laughs> I'm come give me time. I know, girl, you're working. King Capo, Capo, Capo. I've been working on fishing room, but lack of time is making it. Okay, so y'all, I'm a I'm a makeup collector, and obviously I have, for God's sakes, I have my fishing rods. I'm watching YouTube. I have my fishing rods right here in the corner of my living room, and that's exactly where they're going to stay because, you know what, I don't care what people think. That is part of my decor in my living room is my fishing rod rack. Let me get back up here in the light so it covers a lot. <laughs> Buffy, my house looks like a fishing house. It's everywhere. Yeah, um, oh, well, welcome back. Um, we, I want to get like a dedicated film and I can fit probably where those stairs are right in front of where the poles are right here. I could probably sit on the stairs and have a camera there and film, but I don't do, and typically, I, I'm going to say I don't do a lot of live feeds. My last five videos were live feeds. We're having it. Another son. Oh, you're having another baby. Oh, then congratulations. I love babies when they ain't mine. Um, they're carp fishing. Jacob just landed one. I'm using my square room for it. Your spare room. Blah. I'm still scared of live stream. Why? You'd be, girl, you'd be awesome. My house is in there use toys, fish, and stuff. <laughs> Um, I just want to, I just want to give away on Centex Fishing and Hunting, um, Central Texas Fishing and Hunting, um, and I, I think what I won was a little, like a little kid's pink. Oh, dude, Anthony, you ain't kidding, man. I need some therapy, too, but I, um... I want a little fishing pole and a little fishing kit. I think I'm going to give it to my youngest granddaughter. Start teaching her. Live is the best. Yeah, you know what? For one, live feeds helps everybody interact with new people. And you meet a lot of new people. That's where I got 90% of my... Um, this is therapy, no editing for one. Yeah, no editing, but um, this is where I got 90% of my viewers from, just going to different live feeds. It's pretty cool. I mean, and you get watch time. Uh, you know, we're all working on our watch hours, 4,000 a year. That's a lot of watch time, but uh, it helps a lot. Sarah likes to live feed. Um yeah, no rent. Yep, you're right. And it just goes, you want to make another six-hour journey? I promise you on me. You have the sign. You can go pine hopper. Um, it, it helps a lot on your watch time. About all you do as a live feed. Well, you need to start fishing, Mr. Tim. <laughs> I haven't seen you fish in a minute. But I know y'all are still cold up there. That kind of bites because I can't. I can't live like that in the cold. 
I know y'all are used to it, but I'm used to the heat. Oh, do you, well, do you do it during the day? Because I never see you fishing hardly. But I know you're a busy dude, man. Hey, Lester, what's up? How are you doing? Welcome to my live feed. Oh, it's miserable up there. I feel drained after when it's too hot. No, I can go out in 80 degree weather, or 80, 90 degree weather. It doesn't bother me. It's when it gets in the hundreds. When it gets a little toasty. <laughs> too toasty for me. But uh, I'll still go fishing early in the morning when it's about 80 degrees. Y'all know it gets hot here fast. So we went from directly from winter to summer. Springtime when kids are in school and still streaming water on YouTube until I have to go to work. That's cool. Yeah, I need I need to um I usually go between two and four hours once a week. Yep. Tim has them long live oh you go fishing two to four hours? I used to go after work, but shoot y'all I'm telling you I'm so tired I can't stand myself. There, my wife would kill me. She probably would. My husband don't care. If he don't want to go, he don't go. If he wants to go, then we all go. But I just tell him I'm going anyway, so it don't matter. Yeah, I, I mean, Buffy, you a live feed, that would be fun for you. I bet you'd get tons of viewers. So you can fish during the day when there's less people. That's a good idea. I like going fishing during the week when, because, you know, nobody's out. They're all working. <laughs> you can't edit the crazy away. Your husband doesn't want anything to do with fishing, Sarah. But he used to fish a lot, though, yeah? <laughs> it's not the fishing, it's the drive. Yeah, he used to fish, so, um... I, you know, people, I guess, get burned out on it. But I've never been burned out on fishing. I, I could sit there all day. And I don't want to hear music. I don't want to talk to people. I just want to sit there, chill out, throw a pole in the water, and just see what I can catch. It doesn't matter if I catch anything or not. I'm perfectly happy. If I have company, that's great. If I don't, no, well, that's great, too. I'm hoping Dallas uh, Pole Bender will come down here one more time, and maybe I can catch her and go fishing again, but... I think she has officially moved to Arkansas. I'm almost positive she has officially moved to Arkansas. Which is sad. I lost my fishing buddy. She's cool people. If y'all don't know her, her either, y'all need to go check out Pole Bender. Viewers like you asked. What? Was AFK... Yeah, I fish live for a few hours like you asked. This pattern of how fishing is like the thing to do when you have a lot of the pressure. I hate it. I love fishing with my son. He's a riot. You know, I, I like fishing with my kids too, but they're just not into it. Hey, Denise, how are you? Welcome to the live feed. If you don't know any, everybody, um, introduce yourself. Go check out all the channels. They'll, um, they'll uh, reply. My daughter hates fishing. Now. Does she really? Because she was going with y'all. Hello, Denise. Y'all say hi, Denise. <laughs> hi, Denise. Your kids outfish you?
There you go. There you go, Denise. <laughs> You know, y'all, I have to watch it because if I haven't seen somebody in a while and I go looking for them, um, it'll show that I'm un unsub from them, and I don't understand that. Um, how YouTube drops you off, you should feel special. Um, how YouTube drops you off, just, I, I, I don't understand how they drop off, but, um, I went on somebody's oh, I forgot who it was. I went on somebody's channel. Yeah, see, it, it's a huge problem. Um, the other day, and I realized that I hadn't seen their video, so I went and looked, and sure enough, I dropped off. Same thing happens to you. See, I don't know what the deal is with that. <laughs> He's three. That ought to be a riot. Um, if anybody wants to tell me how to do a live stream on this stupid computer, that would be awesome. Tim, you're a chatty Kathy. <gasps> Spencer Creek. Okay, I was talking about when I went to Oklahoma um, earlier. So, Spencer Creek is... um. Enterprises is Bill of Rights brother Doc. We call him Doc Ed Spencer Creek. Whatever them two together are a freaking riot. Cause when I went to Oklahoma to fish with Kevin, uh, these two guys <laughs> joined us, and I'm gonna tell you these two guys are funny when they're fishing together. They get oh sorry dropped you. They give each other such heck. The kids are home. I gotta run. Go do dad stuff. Be a good daddy. Bye, bottom dollar. Thanks for coming. Um, yeah, so if you don't know Spencer Creek, if you don't know Bill Wright, his name is Mark. I'm on my phone. I tried to do a live feed on my laptop and apparently... Um, I'm not that great at it. I couldn't get it to work, so I'm gonna fiddle with it here in a little bit. And, uh, see what that's all about. Apparently, you have to download something, and I haven't figured out what it is yet. Alright, I got 14 people back on. I've been on over an hour. Is everybody cool? Do you want to keep going? If you're new, just jumping on... Sarah had a lot of YouTube on PC and through Hangouts instead. Or the Encore software. Cotton Top. You haven't figured out? Okay, let me just tell y'all. Cotton Top 3 is the fella I'm talking about. When I only needed a couple hundred more people to hit that thousand uh, subscriber mark. Uh, Tim O'Brien from Cotton Top 3 is the guy that went and did a live feed and just busted me over. I think I got, from his live feed, 230 subs that night and shot me over the mark. And I'm telling you what, I cannot be more appreciative. I know you want to see some fish, but Tim, look, I'm remodeling my house. I just put in new floors. And I do not have a lick of furniture. <laughs> I have a desk and a TV. That's it, man. Yep. I'm going to tell y'all what. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm the girl that likes heavy equipment. I like logging. I used to do a little bit of logging. Yeah. Cotton Top. Y'all go sub Cotton Top. He has, um, he's raising a couple of puppies, uh, the hunting dogs. And uh, he hangs out with Hollis Farms. If y'all don't know, um, uh, Derek, is that his name? Derek? From Hollis Farms. And, uh, yeah. Well, if you like logging Kentucky Cat, man, you need to go check out Cotton Top 3. I'm telling you, he has some good... Thanks, Anthony, for stopping by. Appreciate it. 
Yeah, y'all go check him out, man. Tractors, he runs this huge equipment, John Deere. I mean, he has it all. Are you out fishing right now? You dog, you done went and took your boat home. I mean, you went, done went home and got your boat. Hey, one cast, one fish. What's up? How are you doing? Welcome. Whisker, I'm going to give you a big hug. <laughs> Who are you hugging? Cotton Top 3. Yep. Y'all watch those videos. I mean, it is very interesting how they can run through acres and acres and acres of trees and he shows his equipment, the repairs, and, and I'm into that stuff. Well, Wyatt, if you do it, let us know. Make sure you tag everybody. Or it's okay, John. Come on in, man. We're we're hanging out. But anyway, um, Tim uh, has become a pretty good friend of mine, and uh, we give each other a lot of crap, <laughs> which is what I love to do. Just got back, got one big goose egg. Ain't got serious yet. Yeah, I know. The fishing is all meat, right? And a lot of y'all are getting snow and floods. That's crazy. I can't imagine. And and Tim, this morning, his video was... He was frustrated because he got in his machine. And uh, was talking about how it was ice all over the windows of his machine and how cold it was. 10 inches of snow. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all, it's 80 degrees here. I know I keep saying it, but... God bless Texas is all I can say. It's warm here. I'll take it. Got an inch of snow Tuesday. Tim, did you get any snow? I know, that face. <laughs> Tim every time. <laughs> I'm not trying to rub it in, y'all, but I feel bad for y'all. But I couldn't do all that cold. Y'all, my hair is a hot monkey mess. Three to five yesterday. We did here in Newtown, Connecticut. Five, uh, five inches of sunshine. Yeah, we're going to rub it in. <laughs> I hate the winter too, Denise. Jesus, Pete's. Man, the winter is uh, not my friend. Um, I don't know if y'all know, but I mean, it's no big deal. I have lupus, and so I'm constantly like aches and pains, and my body hurts. And then when it gets cold, OMG. I guess it's the same thing as people that have uh, arthritis and when it rains, they hurt when it... No, don't be sorry for me, girl. I'm kicking. Um, I wake up breathing every morning. When I don't... <laughs> when I don't wake up breathing, that's when you can feel sorry for me. Um, 50 whole degrees? Oh, my God. Is that a heat wave for y'all, Buffy? But anyway, the cold just kills me, so I'm in the perfect place for this. Yep, that's a heat wave. Oh my gosh, you guys. Cotton Top, are you still here? Snow should only be federally allowed to fall from Thanksgiving to New Year's and then I don't even want it then. Y'all typically in the state of Texas down where I'm at near Houston we wear short sleeve shirts and shorts until at least October. October is when we, it just usually we get kind of sort of our first uh, cold front and then um then it might warm up again, but seriously, we don't have, we don't have a winter. Our winter consists of maybe a couple of weeks.
What are you talking about, Bill? You kill it. Gotta keep up the great videos. Aw, oh, thanks. Gotta go. Oh, okay. Thanks, Wyatt Life. Thanks for coming by, man. I appreciate it. We're at 100 minutes. Is that legal on YouTube? But I still have 15 people in here. So if y'all want to keep going, I'll keep going. Oh, I've never caught a pike. Oh my God, you bet she does. Those steelhead are bigger than she are. I don't know if there's a time limit, Denise. No, I haven't. I have not. I have not heard from Dallas. Um, I know they're drilling for water, putting in their electrical. I'm sure she's busy up to her eyeballs. Um, trying to get her home established. So, uh, the last video I think I saw, she was getting kicked out of her house because she was grouchy because she hadn't been fishing. <laughs> And I'm getting about the same way. <laughs> Good thing my husband's out of town. Um, he'd be getting an earful right now. I'm all crabby because I need to go fishing. You too, Denise. I know it. Um, you know what? I think they had, when they originally started drilling for water, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, they had... A ton of rain or some kind of weather event where they had to take it down a notch. No time limit. YouTube is unlimited. Well, there you go. That's why me and Tim stay on all dang night. I bet you do, but, you know, anybody that works in medical or in LVN, any health care, y'all know when you come home. Going out fishing is the last thing on your mind. As you can tell by my eyeballs. <clears throat> Beat down, you betcha, man. Um, those of you that are not familiar with how to do a YouTube filibuster. Um... Healthcare is no joke. I've been off work since December 2nd, 2016. Are you retired, Catman? And if you are, I'm jealous. Are you on disability or leave or did you just 7 p to 7.30? Jeez. Y'all work them 12-hour shifts. Frito! I'm doing good. How are you doing? You can't even. <laughs> Ugh. The fishing. I bet the fishing's great here. But I just hadn't been there to check it out. Ripped my shoulder out of socket and broke my left foot. Jesus. Hello from Georgia, Joe Buck 66. How are you doing? Welcome. If you don't know everybody in the um, live feed, please go check out their channels. They would appreciate it. I do need to look. I need to go. I'm twitching. Look, see the twitching? Um, yeah, it's no coffee and, all right, yeah, we all need to go fishing. That's what I'm talking about. I'm ready to hit the water. Any species? Minnows, don't care. We all need to go fishing. You got that right, sister. <coughs> you already did once today. 
She needs to go again. Catfish Bill, my man. Not my man. I'm just reading comments. Y'all are so cool. 14 of y'all are hanging in there strong after 105 minutes. So three surgeries later. So are you going to go back to work when you recover? I know that shoulder takes like a long time. Hook em Bass 92. Did you decide on a boat? Never heard the final verdict. Oh, you plan on going back to work? Great. Cool. Those who don't, I fish on my lunch break at work when weather's permittable and I have bait. 30, whoop, minute daily streams. Oh, okay. No, I didn't, no, I did not. I'm working on it. Oh, okay. So you haven't made your um, decision yet. I know, dude, we're going to boat this summer too and I'm just like, what do you get? All right, Mr. Hicks. You have a good day at work. Sorry, you got to go back to work, but it was thanks for coming in. The lunch break bite. <laughs> Alrighty. I usually can't catch a Dieter. Usually, um, goes live about two o'clock my time, and uh, I never can catch his live feeds because I'm right in the middle of trying to get out of out of there and finishing up some stuff um mondays every other monday is payroll monday so that puts me in going to work at 4 30 and leaving about one hey uh yeah if y'all don't know hook and bass 92 he's make, trying to excuse me he's trying to make a decision on a boat to buy if y'all have any any suggestions? He's looking at the tracker. And shoot. Hook and bass. What are you looking at? Your I think your final choice was the tracker or something else. The ranger. That's right. That's right. Skeeter for bass. Yeah. I don't have skeeter money. <laughs> I would love a skeeter. I would love a nitro too, but uh uh. It's after I get the kids off to school. Yeah, a lot of people Okie goes fishing after after the kids. I probably get a used boat. Hey, I mean used is better than nothing. Shoot I think everybody's broke. Oh, I'm so sorry. I got the honors, kids. Boat's a boat if it floats. That's right, sister. <laughs> if it gets you out in the water and it catches your fish, man, it's all good. 55 G's is a <laughs> no-go. I wouldn't pay for... I, you know, I... Like uh, Buffy said, you can freaking go fishing in anything. You can go on a float tube if you needed to. Grab a John boat with a small outboard. That's a good idea, but... Finished boats. Had a renegade skeeter. I just got a dock and fish in my next boat. Boats, can get, boats are expensive, but look. This is my theory. Um... Just like your forever home, you're going to live in it till you retire and die or whatever. Your forever car, your forever job, whatever. Um, go get what you want. Get what you want. Get everything on it. Get everything in it. Get everything you want in a job. And um, that job motor's worth more than my boat. Uh, at this point, so is mine. Um... Go for what you want and get everything you want on it. That's what we're doing with the house. We're redoing the house. This is not our forever home. We do plan on moving up to the country, more in the country. Um, so, bust out another thousand. Um, 
So, you know, this ain't our forever home, but when we do decide to sell it, you know, everything will be updated. And just like with the boat, we're going to get everything we want on the boat. Um, we're looking at an Excel Bay boat, even though it's not a bass boat or a catfishing boat. It don't matter what it is. Um, we like the way it's set up. It's got a 92-inch beam. We like that. It's got a 150-horsepower motor. We like that. And it kind of has everything we want on it, you know, so... We're looking at that one, and we're looking at, uh, we really had our hearts. See, okay, here's the thing. I like pontoon boats, but I like to get back in the creeks in low water, and it's hard to do in a pontoon boat when you're trying to get up in the, in the creeks. Evan, 18 horsepower on a 60 to John B. Hall, 14 foot for Creek and River Vision. Uh, I want the next Angler Guest Pontoon, Quest Pontoon, drooled over it at the conference. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. The, look, no doubt, man, if you're more into, like, they have fishing pontoons, but the G3s are off the chain, Joe Buck. Uh... That was another one of our choices. But, you know, we're really waiting for the Summer Bass Boat Show. Or, the Summer Boat Show, the Houston Boat Show. And, uh, so we're going to be looking into that. Let's see, what would you say? If I got on Craigslist, GT, a bass boat, I'll get ripped off. Um, look, there's no 100% guarantee what you're going to buy over the internet. Um... I did buy my bass boat uh, on the internet. I mean, it was what it was. You just have to go. You have to know what you're listening for. Just like when you go and buy a car. Going to start the night routine. Okay, thank you, Sarah, for coming. Appreciate it. Um, You just have to know what you want in a boat. You have to know what your... Um, likes and dislikes are in a boat you have to i mean a boat's a tricky thing because you can't just test drive it you have to <laughs> you have to go put it in the water to make sure it's not leaking and all that but uh man i say get what you want to get at the most affordable price you can get it for uh i mean i couldn't afford a Raptor like I wanted to, but, uh, I got a four-door F-150, and it's the closest thing to what I absolutely wanted that I could afford, so, you know, you don't have to settle on the cheapest, but you can settle on the middle of the road and still be happy with it, and it'll still do what you need it to do, but I, you know, Craigslist is tricky. I, I, I'm a, yeah. <laughs> You want a Raptor? I drooled over the 2018 Raptors that came out last year. Jesus. Just be sure to check out this uh, whole trailer boat run. And if you can, bought mine on Craigslist. Solid boat. See, we bought ours on Craigslist too. We didn't run it. We didn't throw it out there. But um, we sure put it to the test. And I mean... We knew where the guy lived. That's all I can say. <laughs> you know. But we didn't pay much for it. A couple hundred bucks. Maybe 500, 600 bucks. Um, and got a 16 foot bass boat. I don't know what it is. See, Bill got his on Craigslist too. So you just have to know what you're looking for. And um, when you go on Craigslist. Um, I'm the person that has to look at it, touch it, feel it. You know, my husband hates going to look at anything with me because <laughs> I have to touch everything. But, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't settle for the cheapest price. I would settle for middle of the road and as close to what you want. Something you can modify a little bit by little bit. That's cool. Yeah, you bet your butt I'm crazy like you. <laughs> Bubby's like, I'm all nuts. I am too. 
12 foot boat with a motor, trolling motor and a trailer for 1300. Whisker stick said, nope, needs materials. Yep. If you know what you're looking for and you know what the flaws are, then that's just, the more research you do on something that you're looking for, you'll be because, um, uh, you're educated on what it is you're looking for. So educate yourself on those Craigslist because there's so many scams. Man, it's sick. My main thing is, if you don't say you don't have a title in hand, you're crooked. Hard part is knowing what you want and selling for less or more money. If I mean, if you get the basic of what you want and say you want monster ride holders, buy one a month. Buy one every six months. And eventually, you'll have what you want. You'll have what you want in a boat. I mean, it may not be the nitro that you wanted, but it'll be dang close. No title, no deal. You bet your butt. You better have a title for that trailer, and you better have a title for that boat. I don't want no hot merchandise. So... That's always the first thing. The first thing I ask is, does it have a clean and clear title? Are there any liens on it? I always check with um, their ratings on Craigslist if they're a good seller or not. Um, we physically go look at everything before my husband bought his red truck. Um, Clifford, we name everything. Clifford. Um, on Craigslist. It was right down the road. We went and checked it out. He did all new belts and hoses and plugs and wires and all that good stuff. And uh, put a couple hundred more bucks into it and the truck's been running like a tank ever since. You know, just maintenance. Oh, see, I... Ours has to be legal or I can't deal with it. I don't want to deal with no title drama. Yeah. So Hook and Bass 92, um, just be careful. Don't let people take advantage of you. And if there is an issue, man, take it up with the cops, scamming. People are just ridiculous, just like the thieves. You know, Christmas time, it picks up around here. So, so, get a job. For God's sakes, get a freaking job. Quit stealing stuff. We work hard for our stuff. You know, not may not be the greatest stuff, but we work hard for what we have. Can y'all hear that? Has a different water crap run the whole clean register. Oh, do 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 do. Sorry about that. Ah, y'all keep falling. You ready to shut up? Got up for a project and. Well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. You gotta be careful what you get. So, um,. If everybody's okay <laughs> with it, um, I'm going to go ahead and we've been on 119 minutes already. So, you know, you're looking at a long time. Anybody else have anything going on? All right, ju just, just another recap. Um, I'm redoing my house. Um... So, I'm probably not going to have any videos up, which is why I'm doing this live feed. And I appreciate everybody. 16 people are still on my live feed. And that is super good. Good night, Rocky. <gasps> Baking a cake. Let's go to Buffy's house. Good night, y'all. So, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Um... So, redoing the house. Won't have a video this weekend. I'm doing this in, in uh, 
Thank you, Buffy. I appreciate it. Good night, Spencer Creek. Y'all go check out Spencer Creek. Go check out all these channels. They're awesome. That's what I said, Tim. Ooh, cake. All right. Y'all have a good night. 120 minutes. Um, y'all can text me on, message me on Facebook if, you know, if y'all want to update or please message me if you're going live. If I can. <laughs> oh, jeez. Girl, you're killing me with the German chocolate. Uh, message me live. Uh, Facebook Messenger, and I'll, I'll try to watch it live. You know, I cheat at work and watch live videos sometimes. Um, good night, Bill. You have a good night. Buffy, thanks for coming. Sarah, thanks for coming. Tim, all my Tims, thanks for coming. Uh, Joe, Denise, thank you so much for coming. I appreciate y'all. Really, I do. Hook and Bass, see ya. I want a posted cake. I want a posted cake right here. All right. Thanks, y'all. I appreciate you watching. I'm getting sleepy, as you can tell. And I'm going to go to bed. All right. We'll come with another. You have to hit 1K tonight? Well, good luck, girl. I hope you hit it. Um, yes, please post pics to me. Um, anyway, I'm going to let y'all go. Thank you so much. Again, I really appreciate it. Y'all really... Y'all really make my day when y'all stay on for 121 minutes. But um, I'll talk to you later. I'll try to do a video this weekend, maybe a little update. And uh, hopefully fishing. Gosh, Springers, hopefully fishing here in the next week or so. So thank you so much again, and I'll talk to y'all later. I really appreciate it. Oh, hey, Elite Team. I'm sorry, dude. Man, I'm checking out. I'm so sorry. Bye, Zach. Thank you so much. Bye, Tim. I know you chatted, Kathy. You you just want to talk all day. All right. Thank you so much, you guys. 